Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chai Z and welcome back to The Mixer, the segment on this channel where I give you guys all sorts of detailed analysis from all walks of life. I'll talk about people, places, animals, food, sports, traveling the whole nine yards, hence why it's called The Mixer, because I like to mix things up in this huge playlist here with over 200 videos at this point. And today's topic is going to be one that came about after watching a news report with my mom recently where we talked about it as well. You know, we shared a few opinions and you know, I just thought that it would be interesting to make a YouTube video about it, although at this point you guys might notice that I'm clearly running out of ideas you know it's been a little complicated lately to find the time to research topics and stuff you know and this and that so it's something it's quite something but I'm here today to give you guys the video about emojis not the emoji movie that sucked you know maybe I should have reviewed that right before or after this one but nah that's not gonna happen I'm doing basketball related content and stuff and whatnot a little bit and so guys here's the thing Emojis are very, very commonplace in today's online communication. You know, everybody uses emojis, you know, even businesses do. And I think that some people don't really know how they work. Like when they were established, you know, many, many years ago, and they started to overtake the online uh, digital, you know, smartphone apps, you know, like uh, iOS, Android, everybody has emojis, right? You can use them on desktops as well. And they're very, very cool. It's really nice to complement a conversation, you know, a message with a few emojis here and there. It makes sense it's nice I use emojis a lot here on YouTube you know in my community posts and in my video titles sometimes in the actual descriptions you know so it's very nice it's cool I like it a lot but also like uh, there it seems like there's a certain culture like a, an almost kind of a taboo regarding emojis today where depending on what emoji you send or how you send it or the way that you send it it can be interpreted as offensive or wrong you know because let's be honest everything offends everyone today you know it's impossible to not get offended by stuff you know so it's pretty complicated but at the same time I um, I don't really know honestly I don't understand how certain things can come about the way that they are without really being actually there and I have no idea what I'm saying I lost my train of thought completely <laughs> I have no idea I literally just lost it you know it's gone you know it's just it went somewhere else now it's no longer here. It's to check down the station without a ticket. I have no idea. But like basically there's this consensus right now, at least here in my country, right? But I think in other places as well, you know, there are some emojis that are considered to be rude to send. Like for example, I have certain pet peeves when it comes to, you know, emojis and online texting and whatever, you know. If a person replies to me just with an emoji, you know, I think it's very, very rude and crass, you know, like it, it's very strange because it, it, it's a lack of creativity and I mean, you can't really take the time to type something out to somebody if they sent you a message, you know, like for example, you can react now on WhatsApp. WhatsApp is the most popular form of communication here in Brazil because it's free and we Brazilians love free things, you know, it's just the way it is, right? And so there is an option for you to react now to the messages that you receive. So you don't even have to actually like, reply you can just react with an emoji or a heart or a smile a laugh whatever you know you, you don't even have to actually talk to the person sometimes it's nice depending on how you react with a little heart but if you just send an emoji like one thing that i think is very very rude and really angers me is when you, i send somebody a message and all they do is reply with a freaking thumbs up i hate the thumbs up emoji so much man you know i just hate it it's very very rude if all you send to the person is a thumbs up or even two or three it sucks man and like whenever a person does that I, I don't even want to talk to them anymore right and here it seems like the news report that I was watching recently kind of talked about this where it's like is it actually rude to be this like should companies send emojis you know should there should certain kinds of emojis be banned something of the sort no it was this whole crazy thing of the story the article that I was watching and it's like there is a certain logic behind it you know emojis are used to complement you know messages right they're used to add they are ah, they are utilized to add a little bit more zest and flavor to a conversation that you're having with a friend or a family member or whatever you know like you're talking about something funny you send a bunch of laughing emojis you know or some random stuff that doesn't really make any sense you know people like to send stickers a lot now so 
but you shouldn't communicate solely with emojis, you know? There are some people who are older who don't really know how technology works very well, so they end up using emojis incorrectly, you know? It's like all they do is send a bunch of emojis without actually typing something out, or they will type something out and send like 23 freaking emojis after the message. No, that's not how it works. You, you, should, you should never send too many emojis, man. Send like one, two, three max, you know? But if you overdo it, it starts to get annoying and nobody will take you seriously in the conversation, you know? Especially if you send that confounded thumbs up. If you send me a thumbs up, freaking em if you send me the thumbs up emoji, I will shove my thumb up where the sun don't shine. I think there's a certain idiom, you know, a language of sorts that represents emojis, you know, that people don't really know how to tap into directly, right? They, they just exaggerate. They use too many emojis or sometimes they don't use any. Like it, 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 having a conversation with no emojis feels weird because you know that they're there, you can use them, but also using them excessively also feels very strange. You know, it's, uh, I don't really know how to explain, man. You know, it's just very strange. It's awkward sometimes. And it, there is a way for you to implement them in your everyday conversations without being rude, without sucking, without this and that, you know, there are ways to do it. You just have to find the right way, you know? You gotta gauge it properly. You, you can't just, um, I really don't know, honestly. I truly don't know, but what is going on out there? I really don't know what the proper way is, but there are some emojis that are actually inappropriate too, you know? Like, it's funny because we play around with the idea of like, you know, the, the, the eggplant being the, the penis and then the plum being the buttocks you know the peach or whatever it is you know there are and there are some that are outright like you know there's the middle finger and then sometimes we'll i'll send a friend of mine like this you know and be like <laughs> it's just getting so dumb but i don't know man there there is a way for you to use them but i don't think that people should just like I have seen this happening a lot where people will reply exclusively with emojis like sometimes there will be an entire conversation just with emojis you know where like you'll be talking to somebody and you'll type stuff out and they'll they'll send a laughing emoji or a thumbs up or a heart or something you know it's like freaking type out the damn message you have the ability to type you're not an alphabetistical no that's not the right word you're not brain dead you know you you were educated you know how stuff works you can type things out you know it's just dumb but at the same time, I feel like, well, there are things that should not be found into their own senses of directional entirmies and me. And I truly, madly, deeply do not know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I think I uh, should have taken some ADHD medication or something. I'm just really not, I don't know what's going on with me. I haven't recorded in a while. It's been weeks since I've recorded videos. so. I guess I just kind of lost my mojo a little bit, so yeah, it's all good. It is all good. And I guess that's it, guys. Actually, no, I have more to say. I just don't remember what it is. There was this concept that uh, that was played around with in the emoji movie some time ago where emojis are sentient and there are different ways that apps interact with each other and stuff, right? But that's very cool. It's nice. And it shows that emojis can be much more complex than you think, you know? Their emojis are shared across different operating systems. So Android, iOS, you know, they all share the same emojis, but they, they look different. They have different styles, for example, you know. I, I personally prefer the Android ones. I have gotten so used to Android that I recently tried to buy an iPhone and I didn't want it anymore. I went back to my old Android. That's a story for another day, though, another video. I'll talk about that. It's actually kind of funny, you know. I've been wanting an iPhone for so long. Then I got one and it's like, oh, I want a Samsung again, but that's, I'm going to, I'm going to talk about that later. But anyway, guys, so I guess that's it. <laughs> All right. Now I really am going to get going. I got to plan some more videos and stuff. And I also got to eat cause I'm hungry as hell and that's just life. But anyway, um, if you guys agree with me or disagree, I don't know if you, what you think about emojis. I'm sorry that this video was off the rails. It was completely unscripted, you know? I thought about it like recently and I didn't even write a script or anything, you know? It's a, it's a concept vlog where right? I come here and just talk to you guys, right? So it wasn't really that well planned out, you know? I just turned the camera on and turned my brain on and I just went with it, right? But let me know in the comments what you think about emojis, if you understood my nonsensical arguments, if you, you know, want to share something, you know? 
I'm coming up on my 1300th video, man. It's been so exhausting. And whenever I, uh, whenever I start a new cycle on YouTube, I'm up there with the energy. I want to do stuff. And as uh, towards the middle, I'm still okay. You know, it's going. But then towards the end, you know, every cycle of 100 videos towards the end, I start to lose a little bit of energy. You know, and it's all good. But anyway, guys, uh, yeah. Let me know in the comments what you think. And also community tab, community posts and stuff, you know, polls and whatnot, quizzes. And if you happen to enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because I release videos every single day. And while you're at it, hit the notification bell too so I can know exactly what time I upload and it is all good. It is all good. Oh boy. This is Chazzy signing out for now. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Roll the non-emoji outro screen.